Bristol is a really special creative hub. It's always had a great art scene, so we've always bred a lot of really great artists in all kinds of media. French Canada's greatest hero since whoever put gravy on cheese curds is back. My name is Denis Villeneuve, the director of Dune. Denis, c'est un plaisir de te recevoir. C'est un honneur de savoir que tu rayonnes à travers le monde. Merci infiniment. Merci. Whenever I get asked why you're always going to Montreal, I say it's not only the food, it's the crews. They're, they're incredible here. Montreal is now the third largest hub for visual effects in the world. Frame Store in Montreal, we're mostly well known for our work on the Harry Potters and Fantastic Beasts series. We also did all of the Paddington movies. Last year, we won the Oscar for Blade Runner 2049. For achievement in sound editing. Arrival, Sylvain Belmar. This award by far is a collective award lead by the Quebec team, Salut Montréal. And the Grammy goes to... Arcade Fire! Oh, what the hell? I just want to say thank you, merci uh, to, to Montreal for taking us and giving us a home, a place to be in a band. A seven-time Billboard winner who sold more than 220 million albums around the world, Celine Dion. Montreal is well known for its creativity. Over the last two decades, we actually saw innovation come out of that creativity, and now we're seeing Montreal as a platform to launch technology companies. A lot of different organizations have decided recently to come to Montreal. Microsoft, Google, Cinesite. Montreal is perceived today as an artificial intelligence powerhouse. We are perceived as the Silicon Valley of artificial intelligence in North America. Top industries in the city include media, artificial intelligence, and believe it or not, video games. Montreal has a great talent pool, a mixing point between different industries, whether it's the VFX industry, the video game industry is very big here. It's a kind of a video game hub here. C'est le monde du jeu vidéo. Uh, Montréal, c'est la capitale. Amongst the top five video game production cities in the world, Ubisoft. The building is over 100 years old. This place used to be a big textile factory. In my opinion, Montreal is the best place in the world to work in a video game industry. It's a huge hub of uh, industry game. There's such a great talent in Montreal. It's such a great one-stop shop for being able to develop games. The live show industry is really big here. Our Quartier des Spectacles, it is home to North America's most concentrated and diverse group of cultural venues and events. IMAX as a format was actually created by Canadians. IMAX had its beginnings in Canada's National Film Board and in the creative energy showcased at Montreal's Expo 67. Known as the circus capital. Here, the circus industry. The final three teams are now flying to Montreal, Quebec. When they touch down, they must make their way to the Montreal headquarters of Canada's very own Cirque du Soleil. As French Canadians, they don't believe in refunds or exploiting animals for entertainment. Known around the world for their awe-inspiring productions, Cirque du Soleil's innovative and spectacular artistry leaves audiences from around the world mesmerized night after night. The Cirque shows were part of my inspiration for Avatar when I was originally writing. I think it's a big honor that the show is premiering here. Montreal is such a wonderful city, I don't need much persuasion to come here. Culture is the big word here. You have more art per square inch than probably anywhere else in the world. We are the province that spends the most on the arts. Arts are very important to us. Montreal has developed a real expertise in everything involved in producing interactive group projects that are, above all, poetic. So we're here in Montreal, and it was named the most innovative community in the world in 2016. Part of what makes Montreal such a smart city is it has a big startup culture. This is by far the most diverse, open, welcoming environment I've seen, not only in our company, but in business and in the government. Especially in the last 10, 15 years, a lot of these new companies have grown through this kind of mashup and mix. So proud, really am, to be in Montreal or to see companies like this doing so well on an international level. For a city that's 375 years old, Montreal has a bright future as a smart city. As I've said sometimes, it seems to be uh, the destiny of Montreal to show the rest of the country from time to time what poetry is.